All right, let's get rid of all that. Boom. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to ATS. New series we're doing, Owner Operator. Uh, as you can see, we have this Mac that we've used before, but on a new profile. Um, so I think it's going to be a cool series. Uh, let's fire up this truck. It's going to be slow, man. Uh, so we're starting basically at zero uh, with just enough money. We did take a loan out to get this truck. Um, so we got to make sure we're making a certain amount of money each day. We have real mods. I can always show you the mods uh, at a later date, but let's fire this thing up. Another exciting thing is once we get in this cab, I'll show you guys. Boom. I got a head tracker. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. So, let's uh let's get this thing going. Let's get these air brakes in. Let's get her in gear. 13 speed, but it's gonna be rough because it's uh not a whole lot of power. And we're hauling a decent amount of weight today, so gonna have to keep the hammer down. <laughs> Hopefully, at least. Hopefully, you guys can hear me over this truck. I know it's going to be super loud. I might even go in and... It's going to stop. Let that guy go. I don't want him to hit me. I might go in really quick and turn the... Turn the sound down just a little bit. Let's do that really quick. Turn it down just a tad. Perfect. Make sure my head tracker's good. You can center it. We're good to go. Except the truck's not in gear. There we go. Make sure nobody's coming. We're good. So this one we gotta be careful. Uh, try not to get any tickets. Try not to get any accidents. I uh, got real money, so we're only making like about a buck seventy a mile. Which, unfortunately, is pretty realistic. I'm sure, they're gonna stop. Oh, I love this head tracker. It is so nice. All right, let's get going down the road. Uh, but yeah, realistic mod, realistic gas, uh, realistic fines. I don't get a headlight fine. Um, and we're gonna be here in this Mac for a little while. I try not to use the Jake brake too much in this Mac, uh, just because it is pretty aggressive. We're hauling a lot of weight uh, today, which isn't going to be ideal. We're not going to cut anything out. This is going to be just the owner operator series. So this is episode one, this first run. Uh, oh, excuse me. I don't know how long the episodes are really going to be, uh, just because, uh, especially at the beginning, they're going to be pretty short hauls, uh, just because we're on a brand new profile. We're level one. Nice little cop there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, voice squeak there. Yeah, I think this is going to be a cool series. I uh, stole the idea from modded ATS. Actually, uh, this Toby head tracker, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, again, got that from modded ATS, Mike over there at his channel. Uh, so a huge shout out to him, uh, finding his channel. Hopefully this is going to be a really cool series that you guys are going to enjoy. And, uh, obviously the head tracker, I think, I think it adds a lot of realness to the videos. I think it, it's really cool. Obviously, a huge adjustment. Got to get used to it. Um, I'm kind of glad I turned the truck sound down looking over there. Looks like it's going to be pretty loud. So, hopefully you guys can hear me without an issue. This truck is going to struggle at highway speeds. Um, so, make sure we can get over there. Looks like we're good to go. Uh, it does have a 13 speed in it. Uh, I might be able to put a bigger motor in eventually. But, obviously, we got to make a lot of money. Uh, we're already at, uh, what time are we at? It's 3.30, we're gonna drop off at 5.30. Um, and that's basically the end of our day. We have to make sure we sleep. Um, yeah, because we'll get, uh, fined for not sleeping. Those are those realistic fines that I put in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we gotta make, uh, like 150 bucks a day, because that's how much that loan is. It's 150 bucks a day. So, uh, ooh, huge lag spike there. But yeah, I mean, so we'll do this run, which is about a hundred and a couple hundred bucks. So we'll make it about 50 bucks today, if you think about it that way. Uh, without fuel, I guess you're probably not making any money. Uh, but then we'll have to sleep, and then we'll be back on the road, uh, in the morning after this. Hopefully they're going to be nice and let us go through. They are not. Oh, of course. All right. 
But let me get rid of that. Get rid of that stuff. We have the GPS, which is a godsend. Oh, because modded ATS's video. He did not have uh, a GPS, which he has no GPS series, which we could maybe try doing. Um, way station is to the left. I don't think I'm going the right way. But I think it'll still let us hit the scale this way. Should be okay to do that. All right, I know we are at seventy thousand pounds for this Mac, man. That's a lot of weight. So obviously, this is gonna make the video a little bit longer today, but not the complete end of the world. Man, this head tracker is cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, it doesn't make you guys too sick. Uh, but I think it just adds that realism to the video. I'm totally going on the wrong way, but it's okay. Yeah, I think it just adds that realism to the video, and uh, I really en am enjoying it, so I'm hoping you guys are too. I don't think I'm supposed to exit. Okay, there's a stop sign. Thought I saw do not enter. We're just going to go for it. Sorry, dude kind of cut him off there I was having trouble seeing I might have to pull I don't know maybe put the seat forward so I can see out the windows a little bit better we'll have to definitely uh, try to find a different truck as soon as we can so we're gonna have to really grind it out but that's okay we could even stream this technically but I don't know if I'm gonna want to run the head tracker while I'm streaming uh, I don't know I guess we'll find out but I do want to start streaming again <laughs> Um, hopefully in the future, but maybe by the time you see this, we'll have streamed already. I don't know. Tough to say. It's just have trouble finding time with the family and everything. But figured we can uh, start this owner operator series here in the Mac. Uh, it's going to be episode one of a long journey. What trailer got over there on me? I do feel like I'm really in the cab here. Kind of adjust my seat a little bit. But as you can see, we're doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> so this truck's definitely going to struggle on hills with some of these bigger loads. I thought I grabbed a load that was lighter, um, but it looks like uh, we didn't get there in time. So we had to pick one up that was 40,000 pounds. Uh, so a little more than I usually like to, like to do, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. We'll just kind of cruise. If we get some lates, it's not a big deal. Um... Might lose out on a little bit of money. Um, but you can enjoy the scenery. We're going to be up here in Montana, obviously, doing short runs. We might be able to kind of inch our way out of Montana a little bit. But for the most part, I think we're just going to be in Montana. I'm actually really impressed with this truck. I'm pushing 60 right now. Don't need to go too much faster than that. Uh, we are in an owner operator series, so you're going to want to take care of the truck, uh, like I talked about. Try not to get any tickets. Try to not get in into any accidents. A little worried about using the head tracker here at the beginning, like this is the first video I'm doing on it. Uh, I've only played it once. I did one little short run with the head tracker just to get used to it. So hopefully we don't get an accident cause uh, from us using the head tracker. Like I said, just gotta get used to it. Uh, if I'm moving around too much, guys, definitely let me know. I'll try to keep the movement in the cab not too crazy. Uh, I know it can probably make some people a little, a little stick, seasick, I guess you'd call it. Motion sickness, I think is a better word. Um, but I think it looks cool. I think it just adds that realism. I always enjoy watching uh, modded ATS use his uh, Toby. That's where we picked it up. I also watched Jeff use the track IR. Uh, so we ended up with the, with the Toby. I think it was a little bit more money, but I don't have to have anything on my headset. Uh, it is completely just mounted to my monitor. Uh, and that is how I'm seeing freely, which I just think is so nice. Oh, it's like, ooh, I was in the wrong lane. That was my bad. So we should be good on fuel. Yep, that's the fuel gauge up there. That's the other really nice thing I like about this Toby is uh, if I can't see a gauge, I can just uh, lean forward uh, towards those sensors, and it, I get really 
zooms in on that dash so I can just see everything, which is awesome. So, huge shout out uh, to Mike over that modded ATS getting us that discount because he's an ambassador. Uh, and hey, maybe someday we can be an ambassador of Toby as well. Uh, definitely enjoy it. Uh, I've had it for and not even... I got it this afternoon after work, and it is 9 p.m. and we're recording this, so... Not even 24 hours, we're already, uh, you getting it to use, so... Only 45 through here, probably gonna slow down a little bit. We are discovering Lewistown. Um, obviously we're gonna be discovering pretty much everything, because this is a brand new profile, uh, so we haven't discovered really anything. Um, like I said, gonna be here in Montana, got a nice in and out I don't know if in and outs actually over here in Montana, I would assume it is since it's here. I do think those are pretty realistic. Uh, and then we got the gas prices that are going to keep uh, being updated. Uh, let's slow down here. It's only 25 through my trailer. It's definitely in that lane. Um, realistic gas prices, realistic pickups. So, you know, you're seeing $100 a mile. That's a lag spike. That's what I'm going to worry about is lag spikes between the, the head movement. But, like, uh, you know, $100 a mile, which is just not realistic at all. So, it's, this. Uh, haul is two bucks a mile, uh, which is pretty realistic. I got a buddy that drives, uh, and I was asking him about how what kind, what's kind of realistic prices, and that's about what it is. Um, he does the Florida run, so he drives pretty far. Ooh, don't get a red light violation. I do need to mess with the brake sensitivity. Holy crap! So it looks like I need to turn that down. Probably did it on the other profile, not this one. I told my dad uh, what truck I was going to be driving, and he knows about these old Mac R's. I think he might have drove one. And uh, he said, hold on to my teeth. He says it's a pretty bumpy ride in here in, our, in real life. So I think it would be cool to get a motion platform driving a truck like this. So you get a little drink of my Coke. Oh, excuse me. Gotta stay hydrated on the run. Oh, it's going to be the arrow. <clears throat> but my dad actually grew up, uh, he learned to drive 18 wheeler. My dad used to do, uh, drive truck when he was younger. And he actually drove the cab overs, which I thought was really cool. So we might have to do, uh, homage to him. I'll have to find out exactly which, uh, uh, cab over he ran. And maybe if I can get a picture of a color scheme, then we, maybe we can recreate it on our other profile. Maybe, uh, do something there for my dad. I think it'd be kind of a cool video. But... Hopefully you guys are all doing good. I have about 27 mods in here. Yeah, see, those brakes are really... I'm barely touching them. Definitely got to adjust that. Got to probably transfer over all my settings from my uh, other profile just because that's what I'm comfortable using. Hoping to get a green here. And we do. Perfect. Thought that guy was going to go at first. Didn't realize he was turning. I have to get my dad over here to play this. I don't know if he can do the, the camera moving on him, though. Might get a little motion sickness. My dad's known for that. I do see, I still see the barrier, so I might have to get rid of that mod. It's only 25 through here, doing about 30. But, get to check out this beautiful town. Got a little store up here. Could have stopped there, got something to eat. <laughs> I like watching modded ATS2, he drives truck in real life, so I feel like he, you know, he's driving pretty realistic, which is pretty cool. Still only 25 through here. It's like, that might be like a hotel? Bunch of houses. Yep, motel there to the left. Looks like a school, got a playground and stuff in front. Massat. I don't. I almost said that out loud, and it sounded bad. So I'm glad I kind of caught myself. Let's pull this up really quick. Oh, we're basically at our destination here. Okay, these are gonna be short videos. Um, so we'll kind of throw them in there uh, with everything else. So this is the perfect road to be traveling on. You know, only 45. <laughs> Not sure where we're dropping off. We'll have to. It's like we're making a left up here, and we're gonna be dropping off at this farm possibly. What are we hauling? Just use packaging. Okay. I want to try to keep it realistic, but... I'm not a super huge fan of this truck just because it's so aggressive. I just don't know if we'd be able to afford to take out another loan. So I'll probably grind it out see how far we can get. 
Looks like we got another turn here, and then we'll be dropping off for uh, episode one here. Looks like we're pulling straight ahead. WM. Pretty sure that place, uh, they're known for um, dumpsters. Looks like it's going to be pretty straight. Boom. Look at that. Let's go. Alright, perfect. So this is going to be episode one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, $242. Uh, so that's going to pay for our $150 loan for the day. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy. More of these will be coming uh, following this, so... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Peace.